Hey guys, what's up? It's Colin from CC Mac Productions, and today I'm going to be going over a tutorial in After Effects on how to do a Call of Duty minimap. And as I always like to do, I'm going to give you guys some uh, some of the stuff that we use to create it. Like I'm giving you the After Effects file, the yellow arrow, uh, the Google Map picture, and the red dot. And I'm not going to give you the original uh, footage because it was like 10 gigs after I rendered it, so I was like, eh, no thanks. And if you're kind of wondering what we're going to be doing, if you haven't seen my survival mode videos, uh, we're going to be focusing on this part of the screen right here. If you just want to watch that as I play this, um, it's the mini map, and it just kind of animates along with how the character moves if you've never really played Call of Duty at all. Um, I'm not really sure if this doesn't any, has anything to do with uh, Battlefield, but I don't know if Battlefield has a minimap, but you can get a basis off that right there. You can kind of just see what's going on. Alright, so let's just hop in to After Effects, and as you can see, when you open the pack, you just, you're going to have to extract it with uh, WinRAR, or I think it's a zip, so you might not even need WinRAR, so that's why I did this tutorial, because last time people were complaining that they couldn't unzip it. Alright, so I just have some footage right now of the last survival mode video of just some, like a little exam example file. So once you've dropped your clip inside After Effects, when you drop it into a new composition, uh, just go ahead and hit Control D and duplicate, uh, duplicate the layer and then we're going to want to drag our uh, uh, map picture in between the two layers and it won't be there but uh, now you're just going to make a mask on the top layer of your footage of where you want the map to be if you want it to be lower left corner top left corner is where I want it to be because that's where the one is in uh, survival and the rest of MW3 and MW2 alright so that looks about the right size at the moment and you want to go ahead and change the mask mode to subtract and then now you can just move uh, this around right here your uh, Google Maps footage I just took a screen cap off and uh, you can scale it to approximately what you want it to be like right there and Go ahead and duplicate that layer right there, that mini map footage. Uh, one sec, I'm going to undo that and I'm going to scale it up a tiny bit more. Alright, that looks maybe a little tad bit more. Alright. So now I'm just going to drop on my. Uh, oop, I do not have my yellow dot imported. Let's just. Go ahead and drag that in. Alright, gonna drag that on top. Doesn't really matter, I'll just put it on the very top. And it's pretty big, it's pre keyed, so don't have to worry about keying that out. Um, just drag that to the middle of your uh, footage. Because if you've ever watched uh, the mini map, like when you're playing Call of Duty, the yellow dot just stays in the middle and the map is just kind of affected around. Uh, where it is. So you just want to put it around the middle area of the of your uh, where your mini map is in the top left corner and go ahead now and duplicate your uh, map layer. This is just what I kinda did. Uh, I made a mask around uh, the areas that are a little bit higher because in survival and MW3 there's uh, layers of like height. I think it's height, but I'm not completely sure. Just where there's different colors for different heights of uh, different heights of objects. So like, since my house is obviously higher than uh, everything else, it, it's like a different color. So I'll try to finish this mask up pretty quick. And I'll just get my driveway in there as well. You can just kind of uh, choose what looks good for you. Alright. 
So once you get the basis of it, I obviously could have gotten that fence. I'll just go ahead and get it. This tree. All right, close that off. So now once you have this, the, these are all the areas that you are gonna want to be higher. So go into the effects and presets tab and type in tent and bring that in onto your top layer and right away you're gonna see your bottom layer uh, is going to be black and white because the tint filter that you put onto it is just white and the MW3 uh, minimap is, has somewhat of a greenish tint so obviously not that green but I'll set the amount of tint to around 50 or so I'll put this more in a bluish type color also, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and set the, opac the opacity of that uh, background layer to around 35 or so, and then, and then your top layer, whatever color you want your house and stuff to be. Let's say you want it to be red. I don't know why you would want it to be red, but hey, maybe we're evil. Uh, so maybe just a little bit different. Co oh, my bad put this layer on top of this layer didn't really do anything alright so now that we have this layer with the uh, mask uh, what we're gonna do is just go ahead and start actually I'm gonna fine tune this a little bit more this is not looking too hot All right. Also, set the opacity down on your other one to not 50, probably like 80 or so, and that will just kind of give it a little bit of a different tint. And I mean, you can play with those settings. And now you're gonna want to move your uh, move both of your uh, maps. You're probably gonna want to parent one to the other, just so you can just move one. And let's just see, right now I'm kind of facing the right side of my deck, so I'm going to go ahead and rotate this around to about where I would be approximately. And now, this is one of the most important things when you're creating a minimap, is uh, you want to create a null object. Actually, you want to create two null objects. One will be for the rotation, one will be for the position. I'll explain why in a second. And name one the rotation null. And then name one the position null. Alright. So we want to parent the position null to the rotation null. And then go into the rotation null and hit R and uh, click the stopwatch for rotation. And then go into the position null and hit P for um, the position of the position null. So now, uh, the layer that you did, the bottom layer of the minimap that you did not parent to something, you want to parent to the position null because you parented the position null to the rotation null. And this is kind of confusing right now, I know. Actually, I'm going to, one sec, just bear with me here. All right, so go ahead and move your uh, null objects to around the, area of the minimap and actually alright so your position null doesn't really matter where it is you just kinda want it to be around the area of your guy and uh, I'll go ahead and change the uh, anchor point to the middle it's not as important with the position but for the rotation tool you really 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 have to have the uh, the anchor point tool straight in the center of the uh, object or it will not work and the reason we have two nulls is because if you uh, were to just have a position null here I'll parent this to the position null real quick if you're just to have a position null and you kinda move it uh, when you start to rotate it it'll kinda not it'll rotate off of like a different axis but if you because the anchor point the anchor point tool will be over here so it'll rotate around this point right here and that's why we create one null for rotation which has uh, the anchor point right in the middle because now we can 
well, it's, nothing's parented to it, but uh, if uh, when you uh, turn the rotation null, this will always uh, rotate around the exact point you want, and the anchor point tool won't be affected by the position. So go ahead and parent the position null to the rotation null, and uh, parent your uh, layer that you didn't parent to the other one to the uh, rotation null. And now, as you can see, we can rotate the uh, rotate the minimap, and we can uh, move the minimap. Oh, I'm sorry. You want to parent the bottom layer to the position null because that one is parent to the rotation null. All right. So now you can move the position, and you can rotate without affecting the point you're rotating at. So now let's just start about where I am. Obviously if you're doing this at a place you know you'll kinda know the location a little bit. So I'm probably right about around there and I'll go ahead and change this to half just for the sake of you guys. And so I'll go ahead and pre-render so I can kinda see. All we're doing right now is just kind of a little bit of a rotation. So alright that'll be good. So as you can see, I just kind of rotate and take a few steps and start to shoot Charlie. And so it seems a little bit complicated. I hope a lot of you guys understand what I'm doing. But so what we're gonna do is uh, I'm starting to rotate, and as you can see, right about now I'd be rotated around the direction of the corner of my house. So I'm going to. Uh, go about right there, and I'm going to uh, make sure you already have set a uh, keyframe for your rotation, and then hit the position null and just kind of move it forward a tiny bit. And now, as you can see, your uh, map kind of moves it along with how you're going, and it's like the perfect type of perspective. I'm not really sure what it's called, but and. This is just kind of like the basic, the basis of how this kind of works. I mean, obviously, when I was making the real video, I was like pretty precise with how I just kind of rotate every single. Just every time your actor moves a tiny bit, just give it a little bit more rotation. Maybe even a little bit more position if you want to. Uh. And that's really the basis of what you got to do. You just really uh, create the t two nulls because I'll just kind of give you an example. If you, uh, let's say you're trying to rotate around this position null, and let's say you already moved out, let's say you're over here, and now you're going to try to rotate, and now you're just kind of rotating off into the middle of God knows where. So it really helps when you have two nulls because if you have one for rotation, one for position, it uh, stays in the same area. So, well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's kind of brief and fast. If you guys have any questions, uh, leave them in the comment section below. You can also uh, download uh, the After Effects file and the arrow and the red dot. Oh, shoot, the red dot. I am sorry. Go ahead and drop the red dot on to your footage. Shrink it down. I'm sorry, I forgot this. And you're going to want to parent the red dot to uh, the, posi the position null. So now he will follow along with everything. And just, you might want to just have him be positioned. Just kind of move a little bit. I'm not going to be too exact because I'm just showing you guys the basics. I'll also scale it up a tiny bit more. Alright. So now we got the red dot moving. Just make sure to parent it, parent it to the position null because you parented the position null to the rotation null. So once you got that, just got to make sure it looks all good. I obviously messed it up when I set all these position keyframes to be all weird. But that's pretty much the basic of the tutorial. Don't forget you can download the uh, uh, zip file in the description with the Mediafire link. And it'll give you the After Effects file, the map, the red dot, and the arrow. But you also, you'll need to have your own footage. So... Hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys uh, 
didn't mind it being a little brief and quick. I hope you guys uh, could follow along. And don't forget, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comment section. And I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoyed the survival video. Hope you are going to subscribe to our second channel for a lot more tutorials. And hope you uh, enjoy the rest of your summer. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.